guys so um, if your garden hose is uh, totally broke and you tried all the uh, best ways to uh, remove it from your hose and it doesn't work uh, it's time to actually just cut this section and uh, replace it with a new fitting so it should work with whatever you just bought for example over here I have a replacement part um, and uh, that's what I'm gonna replace with for the broken garden hose and uh, this one is really stuck and uh, I tried all the ways to take it out but as you can see with all the tools it doesn't work it's just stuck so the first step is find some sort of scissor because you're gonna just cut this broken part off nice and uh, straight of course before you do this uh, make sure you disconnect it from the faucet and uh, turn off the valves of course so now you're just gonna cut hopefully it's a straight line Ooh. all right that part is gone just throw it away and this is a new part you can get this uh, um, hose repair from any hardware stores Home Depot, Ace, Lowe's, whatever or Amazon and it comes with two parts one is this part that you um, oh crap it does not fit okay so what I realized uh, seconds ago is I needed a different size um, uh, diameter hose connector uh, the one I had before is 5 8 for a smaller hose but uh, my hose is actually a little bit thicker or I would say uh, wider it's a 3 4 uh, inch hose so um, I went back and exchanged for a 3 4 inch connector and that's what we're gonna, we're gonna do now to um, reconnect and repair uh, the broken hose we can just throw this away and uh, it, it's same thing it's just uh, the size or the width is different here um, it comes with a stainless steel uh, cl clamp that I'm gonna clamp later on so okay so it's out of the packaging and I'm, I'm just gonna shove this in all the way like use quite a bit of force just all the way in And as you can see, I didn't cut it um, precisely, so it left some of the uh, gaps over there. Not sure if I can take it out. I think at this point I can't even take it out, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. Um, and I need a flathead screwdriver for um, to open the clamp and lock the clamps, so I'll be back. Okay, so I uh, got my screwdriver, uh, and this is... Uh, the clamp I am just gonna unscrew the clamp all the way to release it and put it on the hose the quicker way I guess to do it is uh, actually before you put uh, the uh, coupler in the hose you can put the clamping first so but I think I don't have to take it out all the way I just loosen it to the point that I can slide it in like that okay so it's a thing and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and retighten the clamp and uh, that should give it a really good tight seal uh, to put your new um, what's it called the, the sprayer onto the uh, hose And the good thing about this repair is if it ever gets broken again you can probably reuse some of the parts because this is stainless steel and that's uh, solid brass um, so it should last you a good while all right now it's really nice and tight i don't think it's gonna leak but we're gonna test later on when we put on the uh the sprayer now this is a new sprayer uh got it from the hardware store it on and give it, a, give it a test. I think my wife will be really happy about this. <sighs> All right, looks like good to go. And I'm probably not gonna tighten it too tight because I think the reason the old one broke 
uh, is because I actually um, over tightened uh, the top part possibly um, so this one I'm not gonna make it so tight just snug it's enough uh, next step we're gonna reconnect this part super tight as long as it doesn't leak it's good just snug it's good oh. looks like it's leaking if it's leaking I have to retighten yep so I didn't do a good job so I'm probably gonna redo it and retighten it all right, so after refitting, I just uh, tightened this clamp furthermore so it doesn't leak. Um, and I'm gonna turn on the valve and keep the test. So now as you can see, the valve is opened and this part uh, is no longer leaking. That means it's tightly sealed. And we're just gonna give it a quick test. Use a shower mode, Let's see if it works good. Wow, it's working perfect. So there you go, that's uh, how you fix a broken garden hose and replace it with new valves and a new uh, sprayer. It's actually a super easy job and uh, it's going to save you a lot of money in the long run because uh, the hose is expensive, especially if you buy the good quality hose. For example, this one is a good quality hose. Um, it's, it has lasted for quite a long time. And uh, if you got a hose from Walmart, just don't even bother fixing it. Just go to a actual hardware store and get something uh, better because that's gonna last you. And that one, the, the better one, is also much easier to repair if something. Um, happens to the host. So there you have it. And uh, if you guys have any questions about how to fix the garden hose, uh, feel free to comment in the comment section. Otherwise, uh, thanks so much for watching and uh, take care.